Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the soul of your departed servant, Cardinal Joseph, to whom you committed the care of your family, may with the manifold fruit of his labors enter into the eternal gladness of his Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. from the book of Job. Job answered Bildad and the Shuhite and said, Oh, would that my words were written down, would that that they were inscribed in a record that was an iron chisel and with lead. They were cut in the rock forever. But as for me, I know that my vindicator lives and that he will at last stand forth upon the dust whom I myself shall see, my own eyes, not another's, shall behold him, and from my flesh I shall see God. My inmost being is consumed with longing. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not f all fall asleep, but we will be all changed in an instant, in the blink of an eye at the last triumph. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised and corruptible, and we shall be changed, for that which is corruptible must be cloth itself with incorruptibility, and that which is mortal must be cloth itself with immortality. And when this which is corruptible cloths itself, which is incorruptibility, and this which is mortal clothes itself with immortality, then the word that is written shall come about. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus answered, I will give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to, come, anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal to him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Uh, my apologies, my PC is not acting very, uh, in a good way. In all my four years in Roblox here, 
I have never ever seen such a competent kid become a archbishop in such a fast time. I mean, I like to brag about becoming a Monsignor within two weeks, but Joseph was different. As soon as Joseph joined the seminary and I was his rector, I knew that something was special. Joseph, he had the Christ-like mentality. He was strong, he was clever, he was a right wing, he was a left wing, he was an optimistic. He could hear very well and listen very well. And along with that, and along with his leadership, Joseph was also a very personal man. And with him I grew a more personal friendship. Uh, we often talked about our real life endeavors, perhaps rising, if you will. But that's besides the point. Joseph's episcopacy was a sign of true love for the faithful. But more than that, not just the faithful, but for faith. Joseph was so passionate about his faith. And Joseph was just so passionate about having fun with your faith. And understanding that despite our evangelization here on Roblox, we are still a bunch of brothers getting together to talk about our Catholic faith. Our Catholic faith is what makes me, you, and the rest of the people here so different. So close. So lovable. And this is the message that Joseph has given us. Is that because of your Catholic faith that you have said yes to on the day of your baptism. On the day of your confirmation. We are all able to join Christ and join Joseph eternally in heaven through the promise he has made to us. I remember back in the day, <clears throat> the then Father Joseph Franzeris was suspended. I don't think he was suspended, actually. He was in trouble for the very first time it's because he was caught trolling at one of the other parishes. And was this was the first time that I was a little stunned. But I realized that Joseph was just like myself. It was just like the rest of us. That he was, his humanity, humanity and his ability to be childlike was as great as my ability to yap for 20 minutes or SKR getting suspended 3,000 times. I mean, Joseph had his strong leadership, but he also showed his humanity very, very profoundly. Now, I didn't prepare a homily, and I never have in my last four years here. I probably should have. But I believe Joseph's the last remembrance of us, of what he wanted for the diocese. Was for that each and every heart to be touched in some way, in some form, by no matter what we do, whether it be guitar masses, traditional Latin masses, game nights on Fridays, or just clergy meetings, Joseph wanted Christ, or the name of Christ, to touch your heart in some way. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. And may his soul and all the souls of the faithly departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. He got not made, could substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For us our sake for our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Share this water and wine. May it come to share that Christ will. This area, you Lord God of all creation, for this we will see this water over. Pray the vine work for you. Contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Cough. <clears throat> Wash me a little for my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sin.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We humbly beseech your boundless mercy, Lord, that this sacrifice, which you departed its servant and bishop Joseph, Francis, while in the body offered to your majesty for the salvation of the faithful, may now bring him to your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. In Him the hope of lesser resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might by might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life has changed, not ended. And when this earthy dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Major lag right now. You, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these unholy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant our peace to God, unite, and govern her throughout the world. Together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Francois, your apostolic administrator, George's assistant, and all those holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faithful and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope and health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true.
in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Christogenes, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers and all things may be defended by your protecting help through Christ our Lord. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be it from eternal damnation, and count it among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, that it may become for us the body and blood of our most beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the day he was to suffer, He took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. way and supper was ended he took this precious blood precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands and once more giving you thanks he said the blessing gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice <coughs> of my blood the blood of the new internal covenant which will be poured out for you and for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread and eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings, the serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command these gifts to be borne by the hands of your hands, hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, that all of us who through this partition of, at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing.
Remember also all your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and that we sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Do us also your servants, with those sinners, open your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetue, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us to see you in their company, taking our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ to all of us. To whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. And with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching we dare to say. Pater Noster, we as in Chalice, sanctificer tu no in tu hum, adveniat regnum tu hum, iat veruntas tu ha, sicuet in celo et in terra. Anem nostrum, Quotidianum, non hobis hud hie, et dimine nobis debita nostra, sicuet no dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos enduca sententationem, sed libramos amhalo. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. I can't know the power of the Lord. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who have said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace, in unity and accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace.
Okay, the meaning link of this body blood. For the Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to those who receive. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Let me say the word, my soul shall be.
Let us pray. May your merciful kindness, which we have implored you, O Lord, benefit the soul of your departed servant, Bishop Francis, that by his sacrificial gifts he may know the eternal company of Christ, in whom he hoped and whom he preached, lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. I'll be uh, delivering the end of mass announcements today. Um, we will take this service into the crypt momentarily, where Nick will give uh, the final blessings to jo our dear friend Joseph as he's laid to rest in eternal peace. We're going to ask that clergy stay behind and only allow the MC, Nick, and the P principal celebrants to go down there. It will be live streamed. Um, you could find the live stream on in the mass announcements. Um, we have some pretty big events coming up that we are inviting you all to as well. We have the installation of our new Archbishop. We have a few ordinations occurring as well throughout the seminary and we would really like to see this attendance again, and maybe even more. Um, though we mourn the death of our beloved Archbishop, we rejoice in the fact that we have a new one. And a lot of change is to be expected within the Archdiocese um, with Angelo backing us up. We invite you all to also apply to the seminary. Um, admissions are opening soon. Um, it's a lot of fun in the seminary. If you don't notice already, I'm trying to stall a little bit to just get some stuff done. But um, we expanded our seminary curriculum and would love to have you guys be a part of it. it. You learn a lot throughout our program. You learn a lot through being a priest within the group. Um, <sighs> Alright, never mind to the crypt then. I tried to stall to give some time for, to the developers, but... Alright. We miss you, Joseph. God bless. Before, wait, is my mic on? That is, okay. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brothers. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again, when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself.
Into your hands, Father of Messies, we commend our brother Joseph. In the hair and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him. We give you thanks for the blessing which you have bestowed upon Joseph in his life. They are signs to us of your goodness and our fellowship with the saints of Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us, listen to the prayers, open the gates of paradise to your servants, and help us to remain to comfort one another with the sentences of faith. And so we meet all in Christ, and we and I with you and you, our brother forever. Yes, is to Christ our Lord. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. Agni Parthen Oh no, oh no.